for Jesus, you really coming because you expecting me to give you something. You don't want the word. Now, when y'all going to pass out the food? When y'all going to pass out the gift code? When y'all going to give away this right here? See, that's why we got to be careful because even here, the, the, the Bible says that even Jesus, when he fought that devil, he gave the devil the word. What you got believers, all they want is something. Hand, give me something. They, all, they When they go into a situation, what nine times they want to do, they want to call you and want you to get it up off of them. They want you to pray it up off of them. But they don't want to do what's required for them to do. And see, and that's why the enemy is suggesting to them you ain't got to work for this. No. You know, I remember in the old church, all you got to do is get a pass in your hand and everything going to be all right. That was a lie. I don't get it past my hand and say, like, oh, more hell started. No, we got to teach the people how to fight and how to maintain. But see, they just suggested, well, it must be something, you must be doing something wrong then because you going through. No. The Bible didn't say everything was going to be all peaches and cream now that we saved. Because see, now you knocking on hell and telling that the gates of hell, hey, I'm a, I'm a child of the Most High God. So now he said, okay, I'm going to see who you are. Power of suggestion. That's why the enemy, God allowed the afflictions to come because he want to see what are you going to do. Are we going to allow what we're going through what do the enemy suggest to us? Quit. It's too hard work. It ain't going to work. I can't stand the pressure. See, that's the power of suggestion. We don't hear those things until we start going through. That's right. Everything fine. You don't hear none of that negativism. But time you start going through something, that's when you hear all those negative thoughts. Why are he releasing those negative thoughts in your mind? To get you to quit. To get you to put to stop doing what God has told you to continue to do. And see, and that's why we got to understand and be able to recognize through the power of suggestion. We got to cast down those thoughts. Yes. And we got to speak the word of God. Regardless of what it looks like. Because the Bible says he will take the foolish things of the world to confine the wise. Thank you, Lord. Because see, even going back, it said a suggestion is a hint. It's something to say indirectly. It's the call to mind. It's a motive. It's where the enemy will bring up the lust of the eyes. He will bring up that thing that you've been craving and make you want it. Let the doctor tell you he wants you to cut down on your salt intake. You going it's gonna make you want more salt. Being a nurse, the doctor put the patient on a water restriction. The more you put them on the water restriction, see like the worse the people will get. Turn around. I said one time, pressure trying to even drink the toilet water. Jesus. I said that this is funny. When you went on the restriction, you didn't want no water. Oh, now the people yeah. telling you you can't get no water. Then that make you want the water. Aren't we like that? Wow. The more the parent tell the child you can't watch TV, you won't even watch TV no way. The more they tell you can't watch TV, I want to watch TV. <laughs> That's true. That's how we are. The thing that you it, it don't understand, it ain't the it's just the devil suggested that to you, and we sit up there believing it. We're opening up the door when we're coming into agreement with these things that the enemy is suggesting to us. That's just like even with uh, looking on Facebook, talking about that Ouija board with the children, playing that game, calling on that Mexican demon. Charlie, Charlie, stupid. Okay. Yes. But see, they open up their mouth, calling up, the, not understanding. That, oh, some people, oh, you just do that. It ain't, ain't nothing going to happen. <laughs> Children are hurting themselves because they're messing with demonic spirits. Just because you can't see it don't mean it's not real. Through the power of suggestion, you hear people, oh, that stuff ain't real. <laughs> you better read your Bible. And we'll say stuff is not real, but only thing you got to do is discern what are you feeling. What are you feeling? You call that name, that child said she called the spirit name, uh, uh, called his name, said she heard all kind of sounds in the house. So she was in the house by herself, hearing noises. Spirit told her he was going to kill her. So she said she wanted to die, and he told her he was going to kill her. Not understanding, even just opening up the door through suggestion. That's why we're going to get enough. Like people, if I'm you, let, let's try them drugs. 
That's another thing with the, with these these mm -hmm. young generation. They mix all these concoctions together, pills and alcohol and bath salts and oh, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Try it. Y'all gotta be mindful. Try some stuff. No, I'm good. Because see, the enemy would do that to suggest stuff to you. You got people strung out on drugs, yes. teenagers. Smoking, it's known uh, gasoline, Jeez. kerosene. Now they understand they tan up their inside just through the power of suggestion because other friends, oh, it's okay. Snoring paint thinner. Household products. A lot of kids are addicted to this stuff through the power of suggestion. Oh, come on, it's cool. You want to be a part of our, uh, you know, this is what all the kids do. <coughs> That's even with that, um,